Welcome to anvilsforsale.com. Today we're going to be looking at a 19th century, mid 19th century, church window anvil. It is uh, on the stand, and below it there is a stake anvil or field anvil. The two anvils were used together in the shops before the advent of the double horn. This particular church window is in great condition considering it's 165 years old. It can be used right now or it can be put in the living room. A church window anvil is compact. It's all business. You can move around this anvil without any interference from the horn. You can hit in any position. With a saddle you can straighten things. You can work on the edge and I'll show you something special about that in a minute. You can put it on its back and use it for fullering. You can go into the cavities and you can bend things and sink things. You can flip it up on edge and you can hit things and bend things like wagon tires. You can see clearly here that the top surface is not parallel with the bottom. When I put the bar level, I'm in a perfect position to work the edge. This is one of the fantastic details of this anvil. Here we can see about a one-tenth of an inch of saddle, and on either side of the saddle you see two crowns that are very useful. This anvil has lovely proportions from any angle. On the back, we can see the script, the handwritten script. Looks like an AC and 230. Well, the 230 may have stood for Funds, a German version of the pound. 230 Funds may have been equal to the actual weight of the anvil, 248 pounds. They say that art is form and feeling. This has form, feeling, function, and history. 